Today we will be doing a construction job on the wind chaser map. The job for today will be to build a 72 foot by 150 foot pole barn. It will be for one of the local farmers. We will be using a variety of equipment today including a Workstar dump truck, a Big Tex trailer, John Deere front loader, and a cat dozer. The dozer and a few attachments are already there ready to go. Let's get loaded up and head on out. I have gotten quite a lot of requests lately to do a construction video and uh, today will be a big day here for us doing our first big job. This dump truck here is filled with just around 20-25 tons of gravel. We will be also making a gravel pad in front of both the entrances of the pole barn by request and we will also be doing a few other things. Let's hop here in the John Deere 524K, one of my favorite loaders in farming simulator. I really do like the size, but I am also looking for a wheeled loader that is just a little bit smaller. Maybe a compact wheeled loader, uh, something a little bit bigger than the skid steer is what I really want to get next for uh, some upcoming videos. And that looks to be good. Pretty big load, uh, but we should be fine. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. Let me know how it is down below. Uh, my day has been great so far. Now this is a pretty big project here for us. We do have an area where he wants it and we will uh, be using the dozer to rip up the grass and to level it out and then we'll be running a nice rake over it and then uh, we will be uh, buying a placeable building. We are limited with what we can do uh, with the construction series and that's why I've been waiting for quite a long time to get more equipment and we do have some pretty good equipment which is going to be awesome for today. And we have arrived, pretty short drive from our home base. And our equipment should be over here to the side. Yep, there it is. So I think we'll just kind of get uh, the ramp unloaded. And I think we'll hop in the dozer first as well. We'll get it warmed up. And uh, we'll do a quick uh, tour of where we are putting it. So this is a pretty big uh, cat dozer. It's a D80. Uh, let's hop in and get it warmed up. It is a bit cold today. And we'll get the uh, beacon light going up top. Fire is right up no problem, which is great, and we'll be using this big, big ripper. So this will be perfect, and uh, he wants it kind of over here. So you guys can see kind of nice leveled out. Uh, he did that a few years ago, but now has the funds uh, to put the building in place. So I think we'll be doing, uh, like I did touch upon, a little bit bigger than what the actual one is. So I think we'll do maybe an 80 uh, by 160. So that's a pretty big area we have to remove. Let's hop here in the dozer and get going. If you guys would like to see more videos like this, let me know down below. I've gotten a ton of requests for more construction videos and I'm working on it. I'm trying to find ways to be realistic, do all the steps of a building uh, while we are still here in Farming Simulator. He wants it just around 10 feet away uh, from over there. So we'll get this lower down here, get this going, and we should have no problem uh, kind of ripping up the ground. And perfect, look at that. So this thing uh, gets right to work. It is pretty strong, and dozers are really good for kind of doing work like this. Let's kind of see. Can we get this raised up? Looks like we do have to select on it. I first kind of want to outline it, and then we'll kind of go back and forth. I think that's going to be the best way. This looks to be a little bit bigger than what's needed, which is fine. Doing these outlines do take a little bit of time, but once we do it, uh, we'll hop on the inside of the cabin, do some uh, first person view, and I am working on some new series which are pretty exciting. I can't wait to come out with those, some multiplayer series, some other things, and we will be building a map probably starting next week. I cannot wait for that. I am working on uh, getting some buildings and everything ready to go, and that will be awesome. The new homeowner series will be uh, on that map as well, so we'll do this and then we'll hop on the cab. So we could get some first person action 
Perfect, so now after this we could just kind of go around and we don't really have to worry about kind of how it's going to look because we already did it, but wow, this is a pretty big pad. It is actually pretty tricky to see exactly where uh, we are kind of ripping up in the cab, but we'll probably just keep switching between the views and let's turn. Perfect. Three, four passes back and forth here, and uh, we should get this done, no problem. I think the best way to go about this is to do one big circle. That way it's a little bit easier because turning this thing is quite a lot of effort. Now it would be nice to pour the concrete and do uh, the structure, but if we do put the concrete down, we won't be able to then place uh, the building. So we do have limitations, and I did try to kind of find a way uh, to work around that as best we could. Now I really do like pole barns, they are pretty cool, and I definitely want to uh, get more in a farming similar. We do have some good ones, but getting some more would be even better. Oh yeah, look at that, just bouncing around. I'm really uh, ripping it up, but it's taking a lot of power. And the ground is getting a little bit harder since it is very close to winter now. We will also be switching up maps and probably uh, kind of staying away from Wind Chaser map for quite a long time. I've done so many good videos on this map, but it's time for a change and I can't wait for that new map to be built. Getting these last little pieces will probably be tricky uh, since we have to move around quite a lot, but I thought that we did this in pretty good timing, I will have to say. We'll run the uh, rake over, kind of get all the rocks out, and then we should be good for uh, the building to be put in place. And we just have this little piece here and a little bit left there. And I, I cannot really wait uh, to kind of see what this looks like once we are done. It's always cool to kind of see the finished product in these videos. And also just in general when you're done kind of working on something for a long time. And the last little bit here. Wow, this ripper, this dozer is definitely great. And I can't wait to do more jobs with it coming up. Perfect, so that's it. I will uh, get this uh, over here and we'll get in the loader. Now we also do have to build kind of a road from that area here, but we'll do that uh, once the uh, building is in place. That way it's a little bit easier for us, and we could also do the gravel then. He wants the gravel in front of each entrance, and if there is some extra, uh, he said just to throw down on the roadway. Perfect, and let's switch over to the cultivator. Perfect, and this should be three, four passes uh, total, and that will be it here.
it would be nice if we could have a cultivator that goes in the uh, front direction as you do drive. I do believe there's a few for 17, but I haven't really found any for 19 yet. A rake that goes forwards I think would be a little bit easier, especially for visibility and for moving around. Now I think that this is the perfect size for also skid steer, so that's great. If you do have any cool map ideas, please let me know. And I cannot wait to build that map. I've been talking about it for a little bit of time. I did build, I believe, three maps for 17, which is pretty cool. And I cannot wait to build a one for 19. It will be a pretty nice map. And hopefully we can release it once I'm done testing. Once I'm done, uh, kind of using it in a bunch of videos as well. But you guys can see the uh, front loader is getting a bit dirty, which is definitely good. We're uh, putting it to good work. Let's hop here into the store and get it placed. Now this is a pretty big one here you guys can see it's a 72 by 150 only $35,000 for it so that's pretty good and looks like the pad is perfect size look at that. Awesome so we got the pad here in place let's take a look at the brand new building so 72 by 150 that's pretty nice and you guys can see we do have windows up top there to help with some natural lighting throughout the day and a very nice concrete so you guys can see job well done on building the pole barn and it looks like he does want some gravel out here so let's kind of see if we could hop there in the dozer and work on that but I also want to kind of work on this road as well let's see if we could do a nice entrance to it move the uh, loader out of the way and for some reason the tracks are continuing to just kind of uh, slide here on us it would be nice to get some of this done especially uh, so he could kind of get in here without having to drive on the grass and that makes it a little bit easier a little bit more Perfect. We don't really want to go too close to the concrete and uh, damage it because that is some pretty expensive concrete. And it looks like we do have a high spot there, so we are unable to really get to that. Let's see if we could do this way. Hopefully we could unload some of that gravel and get going on that today as well. I think we'll go out 10 feet with a big gravel pad so that he could park a few trucks, any equipment outside uh, when he doesn't want to bring it inside. I hope everyone is excited for the new farming series. I can't wait for it. I am trying to do some finishing touches on the mods and it will be uh, pretty realistic as well which will be awesome. I do strive for realism but I will also be trying to bring my realism to the next level and uh, make it even better. Awesome, so that looks to be good there. Let's move the dozer off to the side. Nice 10 foot uh, pad, uh, 10, 15 feet pad. We'll just leave the dozer here and the wheel loader should be able uh, to do it. Now, hopefully we can do that trick and that way we don't really have to spread too much gravel uh, with the machine. We are just trying to get out all of those uh, big rocks and just kind of smooth out before we do put that uh, new gravel on top. Now gravel has been going for just around $15 a ton. That's pretty affordable and uh, that's definitely a little bit cheaper than putting in pavement or even concrete. And also you could just replace it in a few years when it, it kind of gets worn down. And, uh, and I think it's just a little bit easier to maintain sometimes. Don't have to worry about machines uh, scratching, damaging the asphalt. We just kind of get a few tons of 
uh, gravel each year to resurface it and it, that's it so we got everything done here let's hop into uh, the dump truck and let's get it unloaded now this is a pretty cool dump truck really do like it a lot and uh, there are actually a few cool features that we'll actually uh, try but a big shout out goes out to expandable modding for releasing we'll get all the strobe lights going We'll get it turned on here and we'll get the uh, cover back. Now that is probably one of the coolest features, having a working cover like that. That is awesome. I'm not sure if we'll be able to kind of drive forward there and dump, but I think once we kind of dump this, we'll probably just call it a day. It's been a pretty big, busy, uh, long day here for us. So we'll kind of start to drive forward. Let's kind of see if it's going to work. And it takes forever to kind of raise up there. And let's kind of see. So now we'll just make a pile here. And let's do a pile. Alright, so I think we'll probably just have to finish it there off uh, camera. It's going to take quite a bit of time, but the goal was to build the pole barn, which is complete. We got to use a cat dozer and also the John Deere wheel loader. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next one and subscribe for more.